welcome to Mondays at the Manor. It is another Monday and we hope everyone had a great weekend. It is drizzling outside, but we've made it so far without rain, which is nice. Um, I have Allie here from Paparazzi. I'm so excited because we haven't had a hairstylist makeup artist on yet. So um, be sure to watch this if you're looking for that. Um, as always, we upload this to our Facebook, YouTube, and website. So you have lots of ways to watch it and read it because we're starting to blog about it as well. But we will get started. So tell us about Paparazzi. Paparazzi is a full service salon. Mm -hmm. It's haircuts, color, yeah. perms, um, bridal. We do manicures and pedicures, but with the bridal, we do um, hair and makeup mm -hmm. and then um, airbrush too. So awesome. that's a nice thing for these hot, humid yeah. months. Absolutely. In yes. <laughs> yeah, I know it's sad. Where are you guys located? Let them know where um, you're located. Stevensville, Michigan. So we are right in the village of Stevensville, mm -hmm. um, which is a great little town yeah. and it's, it's becoming more of a destination type of thing with yeah. the breweries and yeah. stuff like that. that. And we have like great cafes and stuff too now. Absolutely. So how long have you been in this industry? Um, I started in 2006. Mm -hmm. I got licensed. Then we started Paparazzi in 2011. Mm -hmm. um, that was in St. Joe. Um, we just outgrew it too yeah, quickly. So awesome. then we moved to Stevensville, which is the salon that I started working in. So it was kind of like bringing it oh, the home. Full and, circle. Yes, oh, yes. how exciting. I it's love so that. Funny. Oh, that's adorable. Do you have like a before and after picture or anything like that when you first were working you there? Know, and then I do. Oh, I you think, think so. That. I oh, should. Yes, yes. That would be awesome. Yeah. Oh, I love that. So what are some of the most popular hairstyles for brides that we're seeing? Um, like right now we're in summer. So give us a glimpse on that. You know, it is all over the board mm -hmm. with, because it depends on the venue, yeah. um, the dress you choose, just really the style. Um, the manner is great just because you can get that, um, classic, just yeah. vintage look, yeah. but you can also get that, um, beachy whimsical yeah. garden. Yeah. Um, then I mean really just an upscale back here or barbecue if that's right. you know what something. you're looking for yeah just with the outdoor space mm -hmm. you just can do anything and so with hair and makeup it's it depends on that okay. but also with um the styles it's like yeah. you still want the bride to look like themselves right 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 um just more polished, yeah, yeah, I guess. Yeah. And oh, I feel great when I get my hair and makeup done. Yeah, just, that's a, the best feeling. Yeah, it's great. <laughs> <laughs> um, and then to add to that, so you said about the style of the venue, but like dresses, that's a huge thing because I mean, yes. if you have more of a simple gown, but you have. I mean, full-fledged makeup and everything, it may not go together well. So yes. what is your advice on that for brides that may have, like, um, depending on their type of style of dress that they're, well, they're wearing? Well, we're seeing a lot of, like, keyhole backs okay. or more, Maybe, like, yeah. you know, detailed backs, mm -hmm. and you don't want to cover that. Right. So try a style of wearing your hair up or off yeah. to the side or something like that. Um, you know, it just, it really depends mm -hmm. on the style. The hair texture too yeah. is a big thing. Pinterest is a love hate relationship. Yes. I think that's everybody. Oh my goodness. I think we're th this is like the fourth person that's come on here, but whenever Pinterest comes out, we just look at each other. Yes. Yeah. Because, well, I love seeing yeah. the style that they want, but their hair texture, their hair it's color. Completely different. Yes. Yeah. Um, of my brides with dark hair. Mm -hmm. I say, look, look up um, hairstyles right. that are your hair color. Yeah. Because blonde show more detail. Right. Darker hair does. Right, right. Um, also, some of those are set for just that photo mm -hmm. shoot instead of the actual dancing, all day, outdoor <laughs> type of yeah, style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want to make sure it holds. Mm -hmm. um, some hair just won't hold. Yeah. And that's a big thing that we say we'll get it as close as possible. Right. Of working with your hair. Right. So no, that's awesome advice. So how do brides stop, how do brides decide what style of makeup they want? I mean, you touch base. There's you know airbrush. You want them just to look like themselves. So what, yes. give us an insight on that. Um, with the makeup, mm -hmm. it's you know we ask, do you wear eyeliner top and bottom? Mm -hmm. Because if someone doesn't wear eyeliner on the bottom normally, sometimes it looks too dark on them. Mm -hmm. It it doesn't look like themselves. Yeah. Um. You're kind of want to, I always say, go a little bit 
outside of her comfort zone mm-hmm. just for photographs. Right. It's it's not full on stage makeup, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it is. You do need well, a little extra. extra. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, and that's where the lashes come in. Mm-hmm. Um, I wear them. I wore I mean, your today. makeup looks beautiful. Thank you. Um, We're gonna I'm, have to chat after this, <laughs> so she can give me some insider tips. <laughs> I wore them today just because um, I wear them on wedding days and yeah. stuff, just so they don't think that they're like these big bird yeah, eyelashes. No, they're and beautiful. Stuff. They look natural, but yeah. they do give a little extra okay. to the day. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that something you guys do at the salon? Yeah, it's included oh, with our makeup awesome. services. Fantastic. I've, I've never gotten them. I kind of want to, but I feel like I'd just be like batting. <laughs> Yeah, that, that is the thing. Yeah, and <laughs> we just use the band because they're yeah. easy to take off. Yeah. But you can get a couple of days wear out of them too. Awesome. So it is nice. Fantastic. Good to know. So, how far in advance should you book hair and makeup? I mean, I, I feel like people think there's not much to think about, but we've already discussed so many like huge points yes. into hair and makeup. So, yes. how far in advance? Um, hair and makeup, I would say, normally our contracts start coming in after the holidays. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of. When a lot of people get engaged yeah. or they start thinking, oh man, I yeah. got my venue, I got my dress, I need to start thinking yeah. about that. And that's that's a good indication mm-hmm. that you need to start looking, but the sooner the better. We book um, as, like, just, uh, gosh, I'm No, you're fine. Out. You're fine. <laughs> um, we, we book... Um, Gosh, no. I cannot do this. You are, no, you are doing fine. <laughs> um, yeah, so we want as soon as possible, pretty much. I guess. Understandable. Yeah. So for your destination brides, because we are in the area of the destination weddings, like um, as far as like anyone coming from Chicago, here personally, we've had brides from Florida, Carolinas, Ireland. We've had two brides from Ireland. So destination brides. How, yes. I mean, because... Trials are a huge thing. So, do you set up trials with those destination brides? Or? We do. It's, okay. it's like a 50 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, some feel more comfortable. Other mm-hmm. ones are like, you know, I just don't have time to come to you. Right. I trust you. I've looked at your Facebook page, right. I've seen your pictures and stuff like that. Yeah. So, do you recommend a trial just because, like you said, hair all hair is different? And do you, or if they can't come to you, do you ask, you know, what kind of, what's your hair like? Is it, you know? Yes. Yes. It's, very length texture yeah. um a lot of them they'll send me pictures of their hair and the style mm-hmm. and we'll kind of go from there um other ones just kind of wing it perfect and sometimes those are the ones that yeah. are the best yeah but we do encourage trials just so sure. it's an idea, idea. Yeah. it's just eases the mind let's talk a little bit about airbrush because I'm intrigued by it. So give us your spiel on airbrush so, for people kind of deciding if they want to go that route or not. Airbrush is great, especially mm-hmm. for Michigan. Um, we do the traditional um, eyeshadow. Okay. So with the airbrush, we still do the traditional mm-hmm. eyeshadow because sometimes with the airbrush eyeshadow, you start to kind of look plastic Barbie-ish. Okay. Um, so we'll do the foundation, the blush, the bronzer, highlighters type yeah. of things with the airbrush. Um that is great because you don't feel if it's humid out you don't feel cakey or like it's melting off it's just very set light airy and like a lot of times they're like oh this feels really good it feels like i'm not wearing anything i think that's the biggest thing oh that's awesome i'm not a foundation wearer in general no yeah but i've had my makeup done um for a wedding that i was in and Mm -hmm. my girls they came to do all the hair and makeup and stuff and i was just like Oh, this is like so refreshing. Yeah. Yeah, especially because like I have freckles. So Uh if I don't see my freckles, I don't feel like myself. Right. That's fair. Um, So that's freckle season now. Yes. (laughs) You're hot in it. (laughs) And that's great with the airbrush because Mm -hmm. you can kind of go layer by layer. Right. And kind of just decide what works for you. Oh, that's awesome. So how do potential brides get a hold of you? If you see you today, how do we get a hold of you? Um, you can either email us. Yeah. Um, Calling the salon is a good way. Yeah. Um, or uh, we even get Facebook messaging. That's awesome. Too. So Perfect. we kind of use all outlets. Yeah. Um, some we get on Wedding Wire and the Knot. Yeah. Um, that's kind of hard because sometimes it doesn't pop up. Oh, are you still there? Sorry. <laughs> we had a phone call come in, so I apologize if it paused 
Um, but continue. Um, yeah, I think I covered that covered. one. Covered. <laughs> awesome. Well, thank you so much for being here You're today. Welcome. I really thank appreciate so it. As always, like I said at the beginning of the video, it will be published to our Facebook website. And also, um, we're going to start doing mini clips on Instagram. So if you are on there, um, and we will have all of your information uploaded on there. Great. Is there anything yeah. else? I think Awesome. Thank well, you. I hope everyone has a great week. Thank you for watching. Um, for everyone else that comes on later on and watches, thank you so much. All the feedback on our videos has been super, super awesome. Um, so I, I usually get uh, a text or an email from a client or even our vendor saying they're so excited to watch the next video. So as always, in two weeks, and we hope everyone has a great week. And thanks for joining us at Mondays at the Manor. Thanks.